came in. Um, first things first, Troy. I love the get up. I love the outfit. I love the war paint. I love the headband. I'm loving everything right now. But um, currently, Jacob and I was talking about the road to Sweden. You guys are one of three so far, and tomorrow you have two more play days. Your backs are against the wall. How does that make you feel? Um, I mean, we uh. We definitely had a bit of like a slow start, I'd say, this season. I mean, even we still have to prove anything. I think today was probably our best showing yet um, out of the season. But just slow thing to start the season just because I, I was new to the team, seeing how, how they meshed with my play style, stuff like that, just figuring things out as it as it goes with a, with a new team. But, yeah, we got we got some more time to work on things, and I think we're, we're getting on the right track now. Um, but, yeah, everything's it's in our hands. Right now, uh, if we win in regulation, we make it to Sweden. So uh, just one game at a time, one round at a time, doing our thing. And yeah, want to make it happen. All right. I mean, Canadian, I've been somewhat critical of your team over the last couple of play days. Yes, you have been. Somewhat. You know, <laughs> somewhat. But I do want to say this game, you guys played really well. You knocked it out of the part. How were those last two weeks to like take the days off, be able to practice with the teams? What was able to change over the break of time to really improve your game? Well, days were not taken off. Um, <laughs> Play so days were taken there, off. That. Say that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just a lot of hard work, a lot of hours put in, talking and thinking about the game, trying some new things as a team, and just really trying to figure out what our style is with me on the team and with the, with the pieces that we have. Because I don't think we were quite playing our style prior. Uh, we, we have a lot of great minds on the team. and. You know, we, we all understand Siege really well. We have incredibly talented players, but it was just finding, a matter of finding what fits right for us. And I think we're on the right track. Obviously, we have to continue to prove it. Um, I think this was our kind of first showing since we've kind of been game, getting on that track, but obviously I don't want to get ahead of myself. So <laughs> um, just one game at a time. We'll see what happens. But yeah, uh, we're, we're feeling good. Is there anything in particular about going into tomorrow that uh, is like, of a big mental focus for you going into two games as opposed to one because in the NAL you really only have one opponent to prep for for one day. Is there anything different that you're going to have to do going up against two opponents for tomorrow? Um, Just making sure we're not exhausting ourselves between games. I think that's about it though. As far as preparation, uh, we've, we've already done what we need to do. Uh, a, a lot of the focus is on ourselves um, as it should be when you're a new team and kind of finding your own identity. So yeah, just uh, just kind of making sure we don't exhaust ourselves between games, really, I'd say, and stay, stay energized and whatnot. All right, Canadian, you have a long history in Rainbow Six Siege, as we all know, you're a legend in the scene, but also we all know about the other legend, Kickstar, and you have a long history with them. You've known them for such a long time. I was wondering if you had any words or any stories that you love to share about them. Um, I mean, I, I have a lot of memories with Kicks and just, <laughs> I mean, honestly, some some in the moment were great, but just looking back on them now, I mean, it really it makes me really appreciate just the fact that we cross paths and um, the, the contributions he's made to the scene. Um, a big thing I really was thinking about is, as everyone knows, he was formerly a competitive player, and he really did something I think that brought more people into the game and to see the competitive side of the game that he loved so much and that I love so much. Um, I know he, it always even leaked through into his casting. Um, he just loves, or he has always loved watching Great Siege. Um, and that was something he constantly mentioned and just, uh, he really took took it seriously to bring it into casting and kind of shine a light on that to, to more players and explore, expose more players to competitive Siege and get the understanding and just the appreciation for the game that we have as pro players. Um, and it's something that I really appreciated about him. Um, and yeah, I just, uh, uh, literally this morning, I was just thinking about like, I, I really want all, all, all the players in the community really just, let's let's put on a show for him. And uh, yeah, we miss you kicks. And today was basically my favorite day in all of Rainbow Six because we were able to celebrate him in such a big way with great games, great commentary, everything all around. Canadian, thank you so much, and we can't wait to see what's going to happen tomorrow for your doubleheader. It's going to be insane. Good luck, and I hope you have a great night.